in today's video, we're going to be camping out here in the bush. I've got three canteens. Um, I've got a tarpaulin and a hammock and a sleeping bag. And I've also got some other bushcrafty items like a handsaw, which will be handy. Rope. We've done it. We've got a hammock. <laughs> it's too strong. <laughs> it snaps. Oh man. Well, I guess that vine's staying there. Bath is just getting some firewood. I'm getting this paracord ready for the tarpaulin. We're not going to put the tarpaulin on yet, but it's just ready to go. Today, instead of the matches, I've got my ferro rod. Oh, there we go. That's fire. Now we just hope that it lights the sticks above it. Getting a good flame. Oh, well, a leaf just landed on my head. That's a fire. We've done it. It's burning so well, there's not even any smoke. Got the hammock set up. Arthur's getting more wood. Got the pack here and a nice seat here. And the fire is going all good. It's roaring. It's a bit smoky in camp. So, let's head out to the World War II trench. Let's see how it's doing. I haven't been there in a while. Here it is. Whoa! I'm going deeper one. I agree. Should I get in? Sure. Sheesh. It's getting to be big. Let's dig into some of these. Yeah, I want some. Mm -hmm. Pretty mm. delicious. Okay, so the plan is to get rid of all these vines here. So, let's do this. Ah! This is a big boy. Oh, I'll grab that firewood. Nice. That's the hole. That's the hole. Oh, it's connected up to that tree up there. Yeah. Uh, pull it and cut it. Look at it now. Oh, you just tripped over. Anyway, that's all the vines we got rid of. We did pretty good in that area. Opened it up a lot. <laughs> the crazy vine. I agree. We're gonna put this fire out. It's just too smoky. So let's get that put out and stop the smoke. All of those vines we cleared out and stacked there from this area were for a reason. And the reason is we're going to level this out so we have a big flat area across here and we can set up a tent next time we're camping here. So let's get out the trusty entrenching tool, e-tool for short, and get digging. Still got dirt. This 
maybe impossible because there's just so many roots. I mean, look at this. It's not even on a tree, it's just... Maybe it's from this tree, but... Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Too rooty. Now you get to see what this bag is for. Pigs! Yep, three big cooking pigs that I made. The thing is, if you have three pigs, it's always going to be level and your pot will not wobble. Cooker. Hubba stove. Pigs, canteen cup, that's the way to do it. So where are we planning to tie it? Maybe onto the sign. Okay. I think it'll work. Look at that. That is a good hammock top setup. But we tied um, a little round thing in here wrapped our rope around it on the other side and then pulled it out otherwise that would be in here so we got a lot more space by doing that pretty good setup we're at camp still but me and Arthur just heard a huge crash in the bushes over there like maybe half a tree fell down, it was loud. We're gonna head that way and explore, see what we can find. The crash was just here. Where all these, where this dead tree is. Wasn't that? That was already there. Let's head back to camp. This is a main trail through here, which is pretty bad because we just have to keep climbing through these vines and it's pretty tough and annoying and horrible. So we're going to get the saw out again. Oh, that was rough footage. We're going to get the saw out again and see if we can't get rid of all these I'd say that's pretty clear. It's like so much better than it was before. You can just walk up through here so easily. You don't get tangled. You can even get all the way to the trench, which is literally just there. And just here, that is home. That's camp. It's looking pretty awesome. Oh, you tripped and I recorded it. Oh man. Are you okay? No! Oh. Uh, what did you trip on? A roof! Ah! Uh, well, that's better than tripping on supple jacks. True. Because now we have a clear path to the trench. Alright, sweet. Let's do a replay of that tripping over. Lunch time, almost 12 o'clock. Oh, I rubbed my jeans. Got the cooker here. And you seem pretty hungry, eh? Yep. Let's get some noodles cooking. Ooh. 
Ugh. So I've got a lot of canteens, and in here I've even got my French Army canteen cup. So that's what we're making noodles in. So what we're going to do is boil half a cup of canteen water, as it says. Um, got my water here. Let's light up that hobo stove and get boiling some water. Get a bit of a wind break. Stop the wind. There we go. Let's give it a dust out. Sizzling away. Next up, while we wait for that to boil, this muesli bar. Apple, sultana and berry. These aren't as big as the packaging. They're only that big and the packaging is that big. <laughs> it looks like a sausage roll. <laughs> Pretty average. We're speeding up the boiling process. We've got a boil going. So let's get out these noodles. Just do half at a time. Shift that one on top. Also came with the seasoning, so we'll chuck that in once all of this has cooked. Like okay, I brought this fork and spoon. I'll only be needing the fork for the noodles, but... Oh yeah, they're definitely cooking and very fast too. That's a lot of bubbles. Holy moly. All my water's gonna be gone in a second. These are cooking. Look at those bubbles. Dang. I'd say those are cooked. There we go. See the seasoning? That is delicious, but still super hot. Whoa. Cabin bread. <laughs> Upside down cabin bread. Plum jam. Apricot jam. And Vegemite, which is called yeast extract. So let's open up this cabin bread and, yeah, eat it. It's not broken. That's a good sign. Kind of rare. Look at that. Hey, you have that one. It's just a thick cracker. We're going to crack open the plum jam. The trick is to only open the corner like that, then we can just squeeze it out. Let's try it. Fairly good. The jam is really good. The crackers, not so good, but... Oh, that's a lot of Vegemite. Got two Anzac biscuits. Pretty I'm looking. And of course, sweetened condensed milk. Oh yeah. You just punch the top with that. Oh that works pretty well. If you're gonna eat Anzac biscuits, you definitely need the condensed milk if you don't spill it. Lucky they provide <laughs> these little cloths for wiping your hands. All you gotta do is stack up some ferns around it. <laughs> and it gets to a pretty good boil. So, I'm going to chuck in half of this instant soup and a packet of these onion flakes. And then Arthur's going to be able to have some soup. It's like all at the top. Ooh. Don't want to lose it. Alright, 
Check it in. Oh, I used the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. All right, recording? Yep. Onion flakes going in. There you go. That should thicken it up a bit. Doesn't look that yum, but probably tastes pretty yum. Is that super good? Yeah. Cleaned out my canteen cup. Just keep it covered. Don't want to fly land in this. And my rubbish bag is just full of all the rubbish that comes with it. So you definitely need to bring one of those camping. Got this little puck which I use in this corner to pull it out, and it's actually a towel. Just gonna leave it in that water and let it soak in, and hopefully, it turns into a towel so we can use it to clean up these canteen cups. It's already doubled in size. Job done. Got a mini towel. Nice and dead. Let's find some more like that. Timber. That was a little light. <laughs> So, just on the edge of camp, we've set up this post, this mini stick, another post, a couple sticks here, and a post at the end. And the plan is, we're going to get a piece of supple jack and weave it through, and then do another one on top, weave it through, another one on top, weave it through, and then just build it up until we hopefully can get to the top. We'll see how this goes. Check it out, we did it. We successfully built the ultimate wall out of Supplejack and these sticks. And we could build it higher later, but these middle ones are getting a bit short, especially that one there. And yeah, I think we did pretty good on that. We've done a lot today. We started off made a fire, set up the hammock and the tarp which was super awesome then we cleared all through there and rather than biffing that like we had originally did we started reusing it to build that fence and it's awesome but the battery is almost dead so we're gonna have to go home 
and recharge the battery and then come back. No way. We're back. Oh, look at the fence. Hammock. So what we could do is extend the fence like around there so it kind of just wraps around this whole area. There we go. Awesome. Come on. Yes. That fat wood will get it going. Let's chuck our canteen on there and fill it with some water for dinner. Let's get it boiling a bit more before we take it off. Okay, it's going. Recording. Got this the chili con carne main dish. The fire is roaring just with these little ferns. And they boil that water pretty well. So I'm going to use this rag that we made, <laughs> we made before in that water. And I'll use it to take it off just in case it's hot. Boiling water. Now, put it in a chili con carne, and all I have to do is dunk it in. I'll just try to fold it over and get some more in, because there's not that much of it in. Push it down a bit. I'll fold in the top a bit. Oh, hot. Just so that it all gets in. Didn't really work. So anyway, that's cooking, and I might as well chuck this on top, keep it warm. I'll give that 10 minutes. So, it's been a couple minutes. Let's get this out. Oh, it's warm. Dinner is served. That is delicious. Put that in the rubbish bag. There. Not even hot water, but let's see. As you can see, it's essential to have a rubbish bag because it's just packed full of rubbish from all that food and stuff. It's not that. Yeah, pretty dark. But you should be able to see it a little bit. Okay. Can now set it up with more Arthur. They provide in their ration packs gum, dental gum. Drink them. Pretty minty, but pretty good. Oh, super minty. I brought many torches so that I can see in the dark in case I need to. I don't know how much charge these two have and I can't recharge them, so I just brought both of them. But this one, on the other hand, is quite powerful. <laughs> if I unscrew the end, USB. So, if I get a power bank, I can plug it in and it's charging. So there, charging torch. So if this runs out of battery, just plug it in.
me and Arthur have definitely achieved great things. We've built some great stuff and we've set up some great tarps. But he's leaving now and it'll be just me. Farewell. See you tomorrow. My pack's protected from any weather. That's nice and low. Looks pretty sweet. Fence is done. I'll just pack up the last odds and ends like the tripod and the flashlights. And then I guess I'll just sit around and wait till dark and then go to bed. I'm gonna have to bail. I'm heading back. Gonna head out this way and find my way out. I couldn't survive. I failed. But I guess I survived the other two times. So, this time I get a break. I'll see you when I'm back. So, when I was sleeping here last night, I heard a deer behind here. So I opened it up, but I scared it off and I only caught a glimpse of it. And the glimpse was it running behind this pile of stuff. So I just saw its tail or something flash behind there and then it was gone. But it was still trying to stalk up to me. And originally it was like just down there. So yeah, that's why I left. I was being hunted by deer. Okay, so I've used these army matches before that come in your ration packs, but I've never actually used these insane storm matches. I mean, look at that thing. This is going to be awesome. So let's give it a try. Put the lid back on. We're going to attempt to light this with this. Yeah. Oh, that's a match. Look at that. Oh, it didn't light that well. Oh, I think we let it. Oh, it's about to go out. No, we put it out. Dang. That was one crazy match. Should we use a normal match this time? No, let's try again. We got fire. It's guaranteed fire with that thing. We're back at it eating muesli. We've got two canteens, cup, canteen cups boiling. And all we need to do for this is rip off the top and pour in water. So if I just rip it off, pour in cold water, and I've got muesli. Good? Super good. The final thing in the ration pack are these peanuts and raisins. So I've had these before and I found out you <clears throat> need to add your own salt because they're not very salty. But I've got a little pack of the salt. So this is the last actual food in the ration pack. Everything else is just tea bags and sugar and drinks, you know. Everything that got left over. Oh, I missed half my salt. <laughs> I saw that. No surprises there. Peanuts and raisins.
One. Five. That's a quite straight one. Okay, check it out. Double the fence. That's pretty awesome. We've kind of just topped off the camp by adding that. It's short at the top where Arthur is now, but the further he goes down, the taller it gets. So that's cool. So yeah, now it's time to pack up camp and get out of here. So me and Arthur are going to head off, we took down the top, so I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching, and have a good day. If I drop my power bank, <laughs> so bloopers. If I get a power bank, I can literally bloopers <laughs> wrong way around. And oh, I shine in your more bloopers. What is going on? Um, hello. <laughs> that was thumbnail time. So now I just sit here like. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Whoa, well, did you just fall out? I hope I filmed that. I don't think I did. Jack biscuits, you definitely. <laughs>